When the Earth Shook Chapter 14 In this chapter, we are going to talk about the earthquake in Jasmas village, the effects of an earthquake, and the precautions to be taken during an earthquake. What is an earthquake? An earthquake is the sudden shaking and trembling of the ground. It occurs due to movements that take place under the surface of the earth. It is a natural disaster. What is a natural disaster? A natural disaster is a major event caused by the forces of nature and may result in loss of life, injury and damage to property. Some natural disasters are floods which occur due to heavy rains, drought which occurs when there is no rain over a longer period of time, a cyclone which is a circular storm that forms over warm oceans, when a cyclone hits land, it brings heavy rains and strong winds. Coastal areas are hit by a cyclone. Tsunami, it happens when an earthquake occurs under the ocean. It causes deadly ocean waves which can wipe out entire coastal villages, cities and towns. The lesson when the earth shook is about an earthquake that took place in Jasma's village. On 26 January 2001, everyone from the village had gathered in the ground of the school to watch the parade on TV. Suddenly, the ground was shaking. People were scared and started running here and there. No one knew what was happening and what to do. There was total panic. In a few minutes, the village was flat on the ground. At that time, everyone thought of two things, to save the people who were trapped and to treat the injured. The house of Mota Babu was not damaged. He was the serpent of the village. He gave rice and wheat to everyone from his godown. For many days, the village women cooked food together at Mota Babu's house and fed everyone. Soon, help from cities arrived in the village to help the villagers. The governmental organizations and the NGOs came with food, medicines and clothes. They also put up tents for the people. There were scientists who tried to find out which areas had more chances of having an earthquake. 
there were doctors and nurses who treated the injured. The engineers and architects who came showed new designs of houses that would not get damaged much in an earthquake. The villagers were not ready to rebuild their houses according to the designs shown by them. They were afraid that their village would not look like their old village. So they decided to build their own houses. Some people dug and brought the clay from the pond and mixed it with cow dung and made large cakes. They put these cakes one on top of another to make the walls. Then they whitewashed the walls and decorated them with beautiful designs and small pieces of mirrors. In the end, they put up the thatched roof. Let's see what happens when there is an earthquake. Bridges, houses, buildings and roads are damaged. People are injured. Some even die. People use their belongings and houses. There are outbreaks of fire due to damage caused to gas and oil pipelines. Landslides occur in hills and mountains. Tsunamis occur in the oceans. And these huge waves wipe out coastal villages, towns and cities. What to do when there is an earthquake? Move out immediately to an open space. And when outdoors, be away from signboards, buildings, trees and electric poles. Do not panic. Leave the place in an orderly manner. Rushing can cause a stampede. Be ready to help others. Do not use the elevator to come down. Instead, use the staircase. If you are unable to get out of the room or the building, protect your head. Go under a table or desk and hold it tightly so that it does not move. Move away from fans, tube lights, cupboards as they can fall on you. Since glass windows can shatter during an earthquake, it's better to stay away from them. To be safe during an earthquake, just remember, don't panic, drop and cover, go under sturdy furniture and hold on.